Ernie and Cat Dad are super bonded. Every time he sees Cat Dad, Ernie is so excited. Like, he runs to wherever he is. If it's across the yard or anywhere, he will find Cat Dad and just sit there. He just wants to be in Cat Dad's presence. I mean, Ernie is obsessed. When Cat Dad holds Ernie, there's this look that Ernie gives Cat Dad. It's just like, it's the look of love. I think he thinks Cat Dad is his mom in some ways. Cat Dad's with him all the time. For me, it's like, wait, but he does the same with me, but it's, it's less out there. I always call Ernie the love of my life. It's the best relationship I've ever had. We don't have kids, and then I never thought I would want cats. I was actually scared of cats as, you know, when I was younger, and it never occurred to me ever to get a cat. They showed up. Uh, it was two cat moms. They both had litters. It was a feral colony. And Snowball was in one, and Meatball was in the other. And I was just like, oh, these two are so cute. Now they're family. <laughs> and it was like, wow. This is what I was meant to be, like a cat mom. It really was an amazing transformation. I would never have thought in a million years I would be a cat mom. The happiest cat mom you could ever find. <laughs> Ernie was a feral cat who showed up at uh, our house just randomly. And we heard a noise outside. And we looked outside and there he was under our car. We thought maybe he was a neighbor's cat. So we took him back up to the neighbors up at the top of the hill and they said, oh, you know, we're feeding him, but he's not really our cat. And the next day he showed up again under our car and I said, that's it, he's ours. <laughs> We only had two cats the year before, so we are new. We are new cat people at that point. So we were just like wanting to keep every cat that came around. But, but since we lived in the country, um, there were a lot of feral cats. When we found Ernie, he was without a paw, and that made him more special because it's like we have to help this little cat. So we took him to the vet uh, the ne very next day. He said, well, just see how he deals with a, without a paw. But as the months went by, we noticed that he would shake the paw as if it was in pain. And he just would drag it on the ground. And it kept getting infected because of the dragging. And so we consulted some vets and they all suggested amputation. So Ernie is the type of cat who loves to be picked up. He loves hugs and kisses, and he will stand at your feet and tap you on your toe for a pickup. It, he's just like, he's like my teddy bear sometimes. <laughs> the cats coming into my life has made my life so much fuller. It really has given me a purpose and has brought so much love to my life. This is not what I ever thought my life would be like. Like, what did I do the, for, you know, the first 40 years? <laughs> before they came around, right? 